Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, more specifically to the metalcore portion of the channel. Today we're going to be checking out an album called The Way It Ends by a Connecticut-based band, Currents. Currents won the latest Patreon poll by a significant margin. There's been some tight battles over the last few weeks with Metalcore, so Currents did take the lead and win this week's poll. I will be getting to Alpha Wolf, A Quiet Place to Die, because they did actually draw in the poll with Polaris, so I have to get to them at some point. I actually completely forgot that they drew the last poll, so, you know, it's kind of unfair to just do Polaris over alpha wolf when they technically drew so i will do that next or you know very very soon regardless of whether or not they win the next poll but today it is all about the way it ends by currents i'm actually excited for this one it is like a short album i haven't got a long enough attention span this evening i've had a long day in work and i just want a nice you know digestible piece of content to listen to i have however just a disclaimer heard one track off of this album it has been quite a while since i've heard it it is let me leave and the backstory behind where i've heard this track is when this album came out in 2020 uh you know it did its thing i didn't really hear anything about it at all to be honest and then at the end of the year i believe it was nick not colonel who posted something along the lines of what are the best riffs that people you know that bands came out with in 2020 and i just went through the comments very interested to see what you know because obviously his audience might have differed slightly to mine at the time back in 2020 there might be a lot of crossover now because he does a lot of metalcore i'm now doing you know a good bit of metalcore but at the time there wouldn't have been a lot so i wanted to see what the cool kids were listening to and one of the suggestions that was highly voted on that community post that nick not colonel posted was the riff at the end of let me leave by currents so i went ahead and checked it out in my own time and that shit slapped on the flip side of that i've seen my comment section my own comment section you guys have been commenting and i've seen that people have said oh i don't know if drew's gonna like this one because he wasn't the biggest fan of polaris so it's very hard to not go in bias when you've heard that but i do know from my own experiences i really liked let me leave okay so that's all i know from this album people have suggested maybe i won't just purely based on how i you know came across with the polaris album i've not really gone back to polaris at all i'm not gonna lie i kind of felt that as well there's not really been any tracks that i've gone back to at all i've just been listening to way too many cool projects at the moment that i just don't really even have time to go back to anything that i'm not 100 sold on so we're gonna go in completely open-minded as we always do i'm not gonna you know take anyone's comments i'm just gonna put them out there and let you guys know that people did say this so who knows what's going to happen i'm going to not allow it to affect me i know for a fact that i liked the let me leave track so that will hopefully help but anyway lads patreon.com forward slash drew fortune links will be in the description if you want to support the channel support me directly without any further ado lads make sure you drop a like on this video make sure you're subbed to the youtube channel so you do not miss any of these videos and let's go That is a solid start. Really set the tone. Obviously, we're going to get something like this after that start. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to bring this back, but the mix in this is like really peculiar. I was trying to like figure out what I was hearing more prominently here. I couldn't tell if it was the bass or if the guitars are just really gented out. Let me hear that again. It's like really loud. Okay, okay, first track, all right. So technically we had the intro track again. That really set the tone for the track. I really like the intro. This track in particular, um, to pay more attention to this one as opposed to the, the, the introduction, I think that last bit really uh, has already like changed my perception about this album because I was kind of thinking, again, it's, it's hard not to, but uh, I get what you guys are saying by it being similar to Polaris, but already it feels like this has more character than polaris did it feels like it's like tickling my prog urges a little bit i know i've gone back and forth between prog and metalcore for like you know the last few months but prog has been my base you know and then kind of like i got into this like gentier prog combo and now i'm going into metalcore and like deathcore so i'm really seeing a lot of different genres and getting a lot of different tastes and licks of you know just what i actually like and the way that ended the 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 breakdown at the end there was almost like this this uh fake out that happened right before the actual breakdown and that kind of just sparked my interest a little bit more because i kind of felt like oh let me just pick out exactly the moment i'm referring to because this will make a lot more sense when i actually show you guys so like this part here just kind of like 
to be shut down and then it like goes into the it's like oh here's the breakdown i was kind of like this is so like easy to predict and that's what it felt a little bit like when i was listening to polaris with the death of me i was kind of like i just knew where every track was going there was a few moments in it that kind of were like all right okay that's a good riff you know but it was nothing that really surprised me it was kind of like your bread and butter metalcore from what i've heard but this i like this as an intro technically an intro track really i mean like i know it's not really the intro but you know it's, it's the first proper track on it um I do like how already it's it's shown a little bit more character. It feels like it has a bit of uniqueness to it, you know. Um, it's it's not going down the copy and paste route of just you know, verse chorus breakdown, you know, verse chorus verse breakdown, you know, and then chorus to fade out. It's it's still following it to a certain extent, but it's it's definitely a lot more unpredictable, which gives it more of that excitement feel, you know. Like here, it was like building up to the breakdown. I was like, I oh, heard the breakdown. Come on. And then, like, they started doing this, and I was like, okay, you know, we're getting something a little bit different. It was actually this moment that made me like, okay, right, this is a little bit different than what I was expecting. And the breakdown slapped as well, like. Now picture that breakdown coming right after the shutdown where he says that. So So picture that breakdown just coming in there. Like it's a good breakdown, but I feel like that loses so much. It just feels way too generic when it just gets dropped there. But the fact that they did that like build up to it, it's just it, it gives it more uh replay factor for me. So yeah, good start. Let's uh, skip to the end of this. A flag to wave, property to sell, property of sell. It's a lot gentier than uh, Polaris as well. Yeah, this is good. Are we going to get a slow breakdown here? Man. We have to. I'm not a betting man, but I bet that at the end of this track, we get a really like slow Thal style breakdown. They've kind of thrown out little uh, Thal themes uh, moments in this with the kind of open spaces and the the screechy sounds. So I feel like this track is screaming out for something at the end where it's just going to go like, 
Bon, bon, ben, bon, bon. Kinda like that. I really like that little. Yeah, again, this is already leagues above Polaris of Death to me already. It's just, it, it, to me, it just has more replay uh, factor to it. Just, it just feels like it has a little bit more character straight away. Like, and it's, it's, it's not, it's going against the grain a little bit. It's, it's doing things that are a little bit, you know, less conventional. It's harder to predict. There's, there's whammy sounds. There's all this kind of crazy, you know, glitchy noises going on, which is just, you know, maybe that's just biased towards what I like. But uh, I feel like objectively, it's just got a little bit more. A little bit more uh, backbone to it, you know. But uh, yeah, another good track. Why didn't that play? Yeah! That right. That's one of them. I'm like, that could be a grower. That could be a big one. That could be big on the playlist. I really liked the kind of like nonchalant entry into the crazy Thal sound again. But then that chorus is gonna. Oh god, let me hear it again. I like this like nonchalant like, and then it just out of nowhere like. They knew what they were doing with those lyrics. Looking for that chorus again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a bit angry now. 
Is gonna so hit so much harder. Yeah, this car is gonna hit so hard. This is the one right now. This is the one top fire, lads. This one's hitting. Yeah, I, I I get the I barely get the comparison between Polaris and this, but this trumps Polaris is the death of me like tenfold. I'm only what like four songs in, and I already know this this absolutely trumps it. I think they were like same year as well, maybe not like I think Polaris was 2020 or 2019. I'm not sure exactly, but it was roughly the same time. This shits all over Polaris is the death of me. I'm not gonna lie, Polaris just felt flat compared to this. This just feels like it just has so much warmth to it, you know. Uh, they're doing all the right things they've got the the weirdness in the right sections they've got the the melody not overdone i liked how it was kind of like it was almost like an untraditional melodic chorus it started off kind of like flat and then it just kind of like crept in it wasn't like trying to be over melodic but i think that will really grow me over time so very 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 happy with that track i think we're coming up to let me leave my currents and i feel like this one is going to hit so much harder now because I know it and I feel like in context again, it's going to have a little bit more yes to it. So let's see what's next. I don't even, it might not be Currents or sorry, let me leave. No, it's not. It's Kill the Egg. It's weird as well because like normally like I'm gotten used to prog tracks where they're a lot... Lo I'm sorry, I'm going to bring that back for you a lot because I know when I speak, it's going to lower the volume. So I'll let you guys have your moment as well. That was a nice drop though. electronic sound is just that's speaking to me oh yes don't stop that don't stop that keep that going When did we just jump in a time machine? That felt like something out of the early 2000s. What? Like... Unpredictable, I like it.
this feels like a gented out COD, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. You know, when that game first came out, and you had like Zerkeries and all the like NFS quick scopers and the no scopers and like all the trick shot montages. This feels like one of those tracks, but like really gented out and more modern. Like, this is the part where I'm like. Like, this is the part where it's, uh, it's like the inter, the, the intermission of the, 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 what's it called? The montage clips where I'm now like running through crash or something in like slow motion. Dum, 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 dum. And it's like building up, I'm going up the, you know, the, you know, the, the ladder and crash. I'm like running to that and I'm like going to the top of it. I'm running up the stairs and all. And I get, I get to the top of the ladder and it's going to build into that where I'm going to just fucking. <laughs> Yeah, this is it. You don't understand how close I was to actually attempting a 360 there, and I forgot that. Last second. Wired up, boys. That would have been a disaster. Just quick scalping cunts. This is where, like, showdown, right? I'm running down the tunnel in showdown. You know what's gonna happen. Start the game, search and destroy. Everyone's running down the other side in the showdown tunnel. I'm hitting a quad. You know I'm hitting a quad at this part. That's all the only acceptable clip for a montage like this. We're actually not going to get enough time to hit a quad here. Oh, fuck. I'm hoping the next track will lead into it. Screen goes black. Oh, this track slaps. You know what, now that I think about it, I think his voice just sounds like one of the vocalists of a band that I used to listen to when COD montages were a thing. That must be it. Because I'm getting like COD montage vibes off this as well. But this track, like I already know, it's gonna, I'm gonna, this is gonna be back in rotation because I, I just remember this track being so fucking good. Shout out to whoever left that comment on Nick Nocturnal's community post in, in, at the end of 2020. <laughs> My face, just let it go. You say I'm like a ghost. My skin is white as papers as I haunt the. Okay, I don't know the word, I'm sorry. I really wish I haven't heard the song. The outro riff in this gives me chills, man. Even right now, I'm just, oh. I really like how he's not like over singing that part as well. It's like, 
he's gritting it a bit but it's not like trying to force the emotion you can just feel the emotion in it without him trying so hard just like Fuck, this is so good, this outro riff, oh. That might be one of the best that might be one of the best riffs ever written with the entire track the way it leads into that oh that is getting played again that is literally i have shivers all over my body man what the fuck i i remember it being good but that like the fullness of the production on that is just unfucking believable especially with how good the lead up to it is it's not like it's just a shit track and then has an unbelievable riff it's like such a powerful track the vocals are so good like i said not too over emotional but it really gets the point across and then that outro riff is just like the big climactic moment of the emotion that he's been building subtly throughout the track is just fucking beautiful <laughs> This album shits all over the death of me. And then the fade out is just beautiful as well. Like. That is a phenomenal track. That is beautiful. That has gone right back in the rotation. That's my god, I actually forgot that track existed until this uh, album came back up again. Fucking hell. And then they got a little bit of like. Lads, who said that I wasn't gonna like this album? That is one thing that I never felt really came through with the uh, Polaris album. I, I keep fucking comparing them. I'm so sorry. But you guys compared it. You started it. I would never even brought up Polaris if you guys didn't bring it up in my comments. But just to compare the two, because that's what you guys did. Uh, like, it's just, I'm so on my I'm so on my toes with it. I, I don't know what's going to happen. It sounds so good. It sounds so crisp. 
sounds modern sounds new it has that like dancey edm kind of feel to it in certain segments it's not like over the top like well not over the top but it's not like really prominent and like almost very intentional with like north do it but it has it enough where it kind of like okay i'm going to a dance track and then they get into like you know they, they slow the tempo down again and then all of a sudden they just drop shit in out of nowhere and it just gets real groovy and then just back to normal like that there was so unexpected where are we see that there was more predictable but because they've been so unpredictable throughout you don't mind when it becomes predictable like that but it's when the whole album is like you know like it just becomes obvious then and you're almost like well i've heard six tracks that have done the same thing so what's the point of listening to the next six or seven tracks because they're all gonna be copy and paste you know they might have different riffs different tunings you know different small elements thrown in there you know different choruses but ultimately it sounds like the same song this is completely different. It's like they just had that moment there where that was obvious. But because I've been duked out by them so many times, that obvious part now is actually more refreshing, you know? I'm going for a piss. We'll be back in a sec. start to show. I know I have to do what kills me. Oh, lads, I can't wait to put that back in rotation. Oh, bury me to that song. Bury me to that. That melody and there's nothing is exactly the same melody. There's nothing left to show. You almost you could nearly put them back to back. Oh, 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 there's nothing left to 
Stop singing on the internet, man. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lads, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, a few of you guys were off the mark. Completely off the mark with this. Um I get I get it, I get it, like you know. Um but yeah, I mean there's a few years I won't have you see I'm stuttering a lot, okay. I'm stuttering. I'm stuttering. So don't listen to anything I say. I was gonna I was gonna say some try and critique you and be like, lads, look at yourselves in the mirror, but I'm stuttering, so who's the real winner here? Anyway, let's uh, see how many tracks we have? Woo! Okay. variety in the the riffs it's been very different One thing I want to say is uh, I've been playing the uh, a few riffs by Periphery recently, and it requires a lot of triplets and a lot of. Um, and I suck at them well. Like, I won't say suck. I'm not going to be harsh myself, but I'm definitely learning how to pull it off. So hearing something played so flawlessly in a track like this now, it just because it's so fresh in my mind, like trying to get the hand rhythm down and the, the palm muting of it, the dum 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 I'm being consistent with it as well, because I might hit it perfectly on one, but it's being able to do it consistently, like within a riff at a certain tempo, you know, when you're also hearing different instruments as well being played, the dum 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 Like just hearing certain things like that. I know for people who are like, you know, you know, tried and tested musicians who've been playing the guitar for years, you probably just take a lot of these things for granted. But when it's something that you know the complexity of because you're only relatively new to playing an instrument, it becomes one of these things that you're like, when you start hearing tracks like this now, I just have a whole new appreciation for it. I'm like, not it's not like mind blowing because I know if I just spent enough time learning it, I'd be able to do it. But it's just more so it's it's a it's a much deeper appreciation of the technicalities of it and you know the just the art of the whole thing. You know, it's just it's it's just so beautiful to hear when you know the tech you know when you when you've just done it yourself you know when you've when you've played around with it and you realize ah well it sounds quite easy but it's it's really not you know there's a lot to it These lyrics are going hard as well. The track being called Split, that split, you know, not even a split personality, but the 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 thoughts that you have in your own head. Like I really like some of the lyrics there again where he's saying, I'm split in my own head, I'm torn between the things I know and the ways I cope with the thought you need to grow, but you know you won't. So that's actually really interesting because we all have that like inner is it inner dialogue, monologue? It's one of those words. Uh where you know there's certain things that you might do, and this is how I'm interpreting it anyway, where you know, there's certain things that you know you need to do, whether it be something like, for example, Let's let's take my current situation, for example, where I know 
you know, I have people relying on me to make a video and, you know, I might come home from work and I'm just like not arsed. And I know in my head I should be doing it. I'm like, you need to do this. You know, there's people relying on you. You know, you've made a promise, blah, 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 blah. And then you have that other side where it's like, oh yeah, but like you can just put it off tomorrow. It's so the things I know I should be doing versus the things that I will do. Okay, that actually makes me sound terrible because now it makes me sound like I will just not do anything. Not the case, probably a bad example, but it's cool lyrics. Okay, yeah. I fucked it. First, I still heard an notice. That fucking they oh, are lads, lads, lads. I keep saying it every track, it just seems to be getting better. Um, like first track, second track, I was probably like a little bit worried that it was gonna be similar to Polaris. Not because Polaris to Death of Me is a bad album, but just because it didn't live up to the hype. And this one most certainly has. Uh obviously I got all the hype. Drew, you need to check out currents, uh, the way it ends. And then did I get them albums mixed up? I said the death of me for Polaris, whatever. If I didn't, I'm sorry. But the way it ends by Currents, it like it not. Oh, why is my fan off? That's why my camera's fucking overheated. For fuck's sake! All right, I'll be back in a sec. This hasn't happened in a while, lads. I've gone back to being unprofessional. I forgot to turn my fan back on. Okay, lads, had some first world problems there, and my camera overheated, so I had to get the old trusty reliable fan to just blow at it for a bit. So we are back now. I have no idea what I was saying when the camera cut off, but it was probably nonsense anyway. So let's continue on with the last or the second last track on the album, I believe. See, unpredictable. Unpredictable. Where are we going? I don't know. Surprise breakdown? Probably. Subtle melody. Do me like that. Carve me out. The faces blend together. One and the same. When no identity. 
This is different. This is like. This is disrespectful to put this in the same bracket as Polaris that that to be. melody as well is like it feels so mature or something like nothing is forced it's like structurally written in a way that it's just like subtle but it's like they just know it's like we don't have to force this at all the way in which you're writing this and way in which i'm actually going to say this i think this is the last track so yeah just before i lose that train of thought so like the melody itself it just doesn't feel like a lot of bands will like almost like, it just feels forced sometimes. Like, sometimes it can work, but this just feels really discreet. And they're, like, trying to just not make the melody the overarching part of the song where it's like, okay, we just need to make a catchy hook so that people will like the song. It's like the song is just flowing so perfectly. It's so, so well put together. It feels so huge. And the melody is just, like, one streamline of it, you know? It just sounds so fucking good. And I think they've just nailed it, man. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal album. Second last track. Sounds like a different vocalist there. Just to show it more substance. 
about these albums making me emotional lately. Fucking hell. Am I just, am I just more emotional lately or something? Oh my god. I look like a greasy mess here. that worries me about these kind of albums is that like when i hear them i'm like what happens if i ever just try and go back and like because ultimately at some point i'm going to run out of, well i'm never going to run out of albums let's be honest there's always going to be new music dropping and i just can't keep up with the rate at which music drops from different bands uh, as well as getting to other albums that i've missed but point being is that because i'm getting the best of the best suggestions because naturally the best of the best suggestions are going to be the ones recommended because why would you recommend something that's so par when you could recommend something that you know is unbelievable the only times things that maybe are so par get recommended when it's like you've you've listened to a lot by a particular band and then all of a sudden you know you run out of content from them but you want to keep going back through the discography and then you start hearing like the flaws in their older music but it worries me like it's just like i feel but it happens so frequently it just keeps happening it keeps going i'm like i listen to like for example when i when i heard the the, the the dark pill by thornhill i was kind of like i won't enjoy music again after this because i just feel like i've reached the pinnacle moment in music where you know i won't be able to experience these emotions again through music but it's just like it just keeps keeps going lads the world keeps spinning you just keep getting more tunes more albums to add to the collection this album i already know is going to be a high nine like this album is phenomenal lads i am um, I've got chills all over my body for the majority of the album. It's like, again, like with Thornhill, The Dark Pool, a lot of the tracks like uh, Red Summer, Human, uh, All the Light We Don't See, going into Lily and the Moon. It's like, they're heavy, but it's like heavy in the, the other sense. I love always going back to that. It's not even a very descriptive way of going on about what I'm saying, but you guys, I feel like, will understand what I'm saying. Just like your traditional heavy wit, like breakdowns and what we got a lot in this track but the way it like goes on into like the chorus and this is just so powerful so heavy in the other way you know what i'm trying to say so this album has been littered with both of those you know it's done the atmospheric you know powerful like almost inspirational motivational choruses and then it goes into these heavy breakdowns that are so like scrambled all over the place they're not like traditional just dum 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 like it has so much glitchy noises going on i know that's not for everyone but you guys know me at this point i've absolutely fallen in love with Villarta and recently humanity's last breath as well but in particular with Villarta's music they have so much of that thal sound where they have like the harmonics and the crazy whammy pedal sounds and the upside down guitars and like just so untraditional this has all of that plus crazy melody that's like not over the top not too in your face but it just hits home it's really really powerful it kind of like sinks into your soul that kind of shit so phenomenal album lads i'll obviously let it play out this is going into the last track of the album i feel like i've said that like nine times at this point but this is like a high nine better days final track on the album how i fall apart man this is i can't even decide which track has been my favorite so far there's been so many cracking tracks on this Drop a like on this video, lads. Let's see if we can get one of the metalcore videos to 1,000 likes.
No, 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 they didn't just do that. No, 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 no. Stop that now. Stop it right now. That is one of the most disgusting riffs I've ever fucking heard. After my big speech there, I thought we were just going to get a nice, slow, you know, cool down. But what the f- I love this vocalist. What the? Who? What? Who is this vocalist? Revolting. Ryan Willy? <laughs> His name is Brian Will or Brian Willy. <laughs> I hope it's Will because I can't keep saying Willy. I am 25, by the way. Almost 26. Lads, that might be the best, like, oh my god, that's up there with one of the best metalcore albums I've heard. Like, I'm not even going to say metalcore, that's one of the best albums I've heard. That was absolutely outrageous. That was fucking outrageous. Oh my god. Let me just play this part again, because it felt like I was listening to Voljarta there with a different vocalist. That was like Voljarta with... A more melodic vocalist which is like if you know me the two things that i love so close your eyes and pay attention to the instruments okay the backing track the instruments everything that's going on apart from the vocalist and then filter in the vocalist so it sounds like Viljata, and then they just have a different vocalist God, 
I need to see the guitar playthrough for this song. I need to see the guitar playthroughs of this song, lads. Oh my... Do you know what? Is there any on YouTube? Because we've already gone over like an hour and a half video at this point for a 30 minute album. Currents better days cover. If there's a... Oh... Oh, would you look at that? Who, of all people, my boy Joe Maderos has got a video for Better Days that literally came out, like, fucking three weeks ago. So, quick shout out to Joe. Joe, obviously, has been uh, someone who I've been in contact with the odd time. Um, big fan of Joe. He is absolutely phenomenal. I don't think I said that word right. Phenomenal. Um, and I use a lot of his, um, his playthroughs for, you know, supplemental content for the albums that I react to. Uh, Jay was a fucking animal, man. His production is what I aspire to have my setup looking like. Obviously, he's playing the guitar, so it's slightly different. But, uh, yeah, man, his, his whole shit is just unbelievable. So, um, I'm going to move this over here real quick. And I'm just going to play the outro part because I've ripped enough of Joe's content over the years so, or over the months. So I'll, uh, let me just see this. It's happened as well. Shout out to Joe for having some of the best production on YouTube, bar none. Like, not even in, in the uh, the metal genre. He's just got phenomenal setup, man. I was actually speaking to him there the other day. Just quickly, he was posting something about one of his new uh, camera lenses that he got. And I just asked him what setup he uses. And to be honest, when I seen the price tag of the camera he uses, it all made sense. So uh, that's what I aspire to... Uh, get to lads that level of production his his shit looks phenomenal uh big fan of joe if you haven't subscribed to joe head on over to his channel but let's get back to the premise of this video lads being the album that we've just witnessed oh my good god that was phenomenal i'm gonna say right now that's a 9.7 like that is like i can't find any flaws in that album like the only flaws in the album is maybe that it probably didn't go on long enough but I've somehow made it feel like a lot longer, but I'd say when I just listen to that from start to finish, I'm probably going to want a little bit more because, my God, that was absolutely beautiful. I think these guys actually put out a new single recently, so maybe I'll make an exception because I love this so much to uh, listen to the single. But also, funnily enough, a lot of people said that I would prefer their other album. So the fact that there was like a 50-50 split on this album and the other one, um, God, I'm excited to do that one. Lad. So that's going to be in the poll probably straight away. I'm going to throw it back in, see what the people want to see. Um, so guys, drop a like in this video if you haven't already. Make sure you're subbed to the channel. It'd be much appreciated. Like I said, segueing back to Joe and the setup and everything, patreon.com forward slash Drew Fortune, lads. If you want to assist me in being able to someday afford the equipment that Joe has, then please do head on over to patreon.com forward slash Drew Fortune. You are not only supporting me, but you will also get benefits from that. You'll get, if, for example, if this album was to have been blocked, which I don't think it will because I've seen someone else do it, so we should be fine. I always want to try and, you know, stay loyal to the people who support me and have supported me on YouTube who don't have to pay for any content. That is absolutely fair. Um, I don't want to put anything behind a paywall unless it has to be behind a paywall because of YouTube blocking the video. So first and foremost, if you do want to support me on a multi basis and allow me to you know build towards a, a setup as good as joe's camera wise cameras can be fucking expensive i'm pretty sure his camera's like five grand like very fucking expensive but an unbelievable investment like all in all I, i'm pretty sure that equipment is like five grand i don't know if i'm supposed to even say that but anyone can look up the camera equipment it's not that big of a deal anyway but that's a testament to how hard he works obviously he's, he's very fucking talented and he deserves to have that kind of equipment Bottom line is, you'll also get access to the polls that we run. The polls were what actually allowed me to decide which album we we're going to do next. And this is the album that we chose. And it will continue to be that way going forward. You'll also get 48 hour early access to all the videos. So there'll be people watching on YouTube right now that didn't see this in the early access, which is fine. But if you do want to get access early, 48 hours 
I said that like backwards, but if you do want to get 48 hour early access, patreon.com forward slash Drew Fortune. I'll also just posting a lot of random shit there as well, whether it be if I'm on holidays, I was posting content over there, whether it be just random updates on, you know, when the videos are going to be live, you know, when I've reacted to a video, like I'm going to go to Patreon right now and literally say, lads, you guys are fucking right. And we'll just have a conversation on Patreon through comments. It's just a lot easier to kind of communicate with people over there. So guys, enough with the promos and the plugs. Links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. This album was absolutely unbelievable. I cannot wait to blow the like i'm gonna ruin this album within the next week i'm gonna listen to it so many times train tomorrow into work i'm gonna listen to that all the time can't wait lads thank you so much for watching i'm sorry now have a good evening morning i don't know i don't usually say this but i'm saying it right now and i have to keep going with it have a good evening morning afternoon lunch time break time dinner breakfast have whatever a good see you later <laughs>